wounded her, but it looked... They set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. I'm doing a sweep. Do not let the target slip away. We need to know why they were following from. Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance along the way, but find the native. We need to get some answers. Hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. <sighs> Nothing. But definitely big enough to hide in. Maybe one of these lockers. <sighs> Empty. Got to check the last one. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Hold up. 
trail here. Well worn. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the wicked veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. <clears throat> Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, <clears throat> and he's never forgotten that. But... A witch straight out of a Russian folktale. It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the veil. Nothing good happens in that place. Hang on, I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. Is there any more sign from Grandpa? Are you still on the path to the Vale? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil.
Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains, no food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself, but the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music, and from there he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. Hmm, this was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. The Wicked Veil vale isn't far now. Just head down that wooden walkway along the cliff. Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley armed with men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Initial contact was made with the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. No, 
Must be dreaming. It isn't real. It can't be. Just keep moving. <laughs> Laura. Dad? No, it can't be. No, wait. I'm close. Now. I'm close. Now. Where am I? How, how far does this path go? It's not real. Not him. Dad, stop! Please don't! But no! I've got to get out of here! There is a truth behind the evil. I just want to leave, please. No. No, this isn't. Who are you? Why are you doing this? Stop! God damn you, stop! For me it is too late, me it is too late. Someday, 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 you'll understand, you'll understand. Who are you? Come on, see.